As the Rogue Valley economy continues to reopen, businesses are having a hard time finding people to hire. Good evening and thank you for choosing NBC5 News at 6. I'm Craig Smolin. And I'm Grace Smith. Many businesses tell us they're having a hard time filling positions. NBC5's Katie Strite talked with some businesses and a renowned state economist to figure out why. She's live in studio with our top story at 6. Katie? Craig. Many theories on to why some people aren't coming back to work. But while the community tries to get back to some normalcy, businesses, for the most part, are struggling to find workers. It's been over a year since COVID-19 made a mark on the Oregon economy. Now many businesses, like restaurants, are looking to hire. I think people come back into the service industry thinking that it's going to be the same as it was before and we're all just trying to figure it out. Julia Rowland is the shift manager at Brothers in Ashland. She says hiring's been a struggle. We've had great staff, the ones that have come back, the few that have come back and then um, some new ones, but it has not, it's been very challenging trying to find people. She's not alone. The owner of Sweet Tea Express, Greg Cadova, has never been busier. Yet, even with competitive wages and add-on bonuses for select positions, he says he's never seen anything like it. 38 years in the business, and I can't remember a time when I've had somebody accept a job on Friday and not show up for the first day of the position on a Monday. Now, in the last 30 days, it's happened probably six or seven times. University of Oregon economics professor Tim Dewey says this isn't just a Rogue Valley issue or an Oregon issue, it's a nationwide problem. Employers are finding themselves in this at least hopefully temporary situation where uh, the demand for services and goods came back so quickly that they were not able to staff up as, as quickly as to, to meet that demand. Dewey also says with national chains increasing wages, small businesses could get squeezed. That's creating a lot of upward pressure on wages. Uh, to kind of balance that 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 um, supply and demand out. While Doobie says unemployment benefits play a factor in people not going back to work, it's not the only one. I don't want to blame all of these these factors just on UI. I think there's other factors at play. If school is open fully in the fall, if pandemic is under control. Both Brothers and Sweet Tea Express are currently hiring. If you're 16 or older looking for experience, contact the restaurants. Live in the studio, Katie Stripe, NBC5 News.